Alright, my lovers, Paranerd Nikki here, and I'm sorry for the screwy voice. I've not been very well this week, but I still wanted to get a video out for you guys, which is pretty cool. Did I just call myself cool? Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna get right into it. Today we're gonna do a Q&A. I have been asked questions via Twitter, via Curious Cat for people who maybe want to ask me things anonymously, and other forms of social media. So we'll get right into it. And we will go for the first question, which is, what is my favourite inspirational quote and why? My favourite inspirational quote has to be one from Tyler Joseph of 21 Pilots. It's my Twitter header and it says, just know you can start over every morning, which is incredibly important to me if I've had a particular bad mental health day or just just feeling shitty and feeling like things aren't going right and you know one of those days where everything might go wrong and you see it and it's it's like a confirmation that tomorrow's a new day it's a new start and you can start over every morning next one is star wars or star trek no i'm gonna get so much hate for this because i prefer star wars i could never get into star trek i do not know why i don't know what it was I just couldn't do it. I don't know why I couldn't do it. It just, it bored the living shit out of me and I don't know why. Cats or dogs? Cats. Uh, I like, I don't hate dogs. I don't, I would probably have one in the future, but I was raised around cats. I've always had a cat for a pet. So I think it goes without saying that kind of, you know, being raised around them, I think it's very similar no matter what you're raised around. You automatically prefer them. Not always, because sometimes, you know, your pet could be an arsehole, so you go the other way, but cats for me. Peanut butter. I'm, I'm presuming that the question is, do I like peanut butter? I'm really weird, actually. This sounds like a simple yes or no question, but I only like it if it's smooth. I don't like crunchy peanut butter. I will eat the smooth, but not the crunchy, and I've got no idea why I am like that. I just... Ugh. How did I meet Fallout Boy and did I buy the meet and greet passes and I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Yeah, I did. I It's a very grey area and usually I don't agree with meet and greets which makes me an absolute hypocrite. But I really, really wanted to meet them and I suppose that's kind of why companies and shit do it because they know that people will always be willing to meet their heroes. It, I'm not saying it's right, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's probably always going to be that way. There's always going to be someone willing to pay to meet their heroes. And as you know, I'm not saying that it should be that way because it really, really shouldn't. But you know, I suppose it's just me being a massive hypocrite and we'll leave it at that really. Have I ever had a threesome? Oh, we're getting into the questions here. Yes. Sorry, mum. Yes, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, ban bananas. Nana. I think I've got a pretty good idea who that's from. I like bananas and screw you. <laughs> Will I get any more tattoos? Probably. I, I love tattoos. I love getting tattooed. The only reason I don't have more tattoos is because I don't have much money. My favourite song and why? I don't really have a favourite song per se, it changes quite a lot. I will listen to one thing over and over for weeks on end and then I'll move to another thing. I think it fluctuates with my mood. Right now I went to see Bry uh, last week and he had a support act, Tessa Violet, and i would not heard her music before, i would not really watched her YouTube. She's a YouTuber slash musician. And I thought she was absolutely brilliant. She was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And her music was great. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the song Make Me A Robot at the moment. And I absolutely love Sorry I'm Not Sorry as well because it's the biggest fuck you song ever. And I love it. Uh, am I single? No, I have a wonderful man. I've been with nearly three years and I don't plan on giving that up anytime soon if he can put up with me. <laughs> Would I rather go to prison for a week or be tied and tickled for an hour? I'm actually pretty sure I'd rather go to prison, to be honest. I hate being tickled. I love so many forms of physical contact. I love physical contact. But you tickle me and I will fucking kill you. I absolutely despise being tickled. Um, 
we have the last question, which is, what is my sexuality? Oh, that question. The person did put, I don't have to answer this, if I'm not comfortable. It's not a case of I'm not comfortable with it. It's more of a fact of I'm t gonna be 25 years old this year and I still don't actually know because I see myself being with a guy, you know, married, kids, you know, obviously I already have a kid and I like that and so that's how I want it to be but everyone goes, so you're straight then? No because I find girls really attractive as well. I've been with girls, I've slept with girls, I've all that jazz over and done with. And I enjoy it. I just happen to be settling with a man. I think like, and then people would go, well then you're bisexual, which would be like, you know, leaning towards like, you know, heteroflex. There are so many these days. There used to be three when I was younger. Um, it's not, I mean, I love everybody. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go in the street and fuck everybody I see. That's not what I'm saying. Don't even think that. I have, I don't care if they're a male, a female, transgender, non-binary, anything like that. I don't care if they're attractive and they're a decent person, I'm probably gonna be attracted to you. It's more about the kind of person they are. I don't really know what this would be called because when I was kind of growing up, you had three, you were straight, you were gay, you were bi. So if anyone kind of knows what the fuck that is, then, you know, feel free to tell me because I still have no idea. But yeah, that's my sexuality. I pretty much love everybody as long as they're a decent human being. Um, I will leave the video there. Thank you ever so much for all of your questions. If you want me to do more Q&A videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Tell me if you want me to do it again and if there's anything you want to ask me and I'll put you in another one because I absolutely love interacting with you guys. You can also hit me up on Twitter. Again, if you're a little bit worried about asking me something, I have a curious cat so you can ask me anonymously. Um, I suppose I'll leave it there then. Um, I've been Paranoid Nikki and I'll see you next time. Bye.